guys, what's up? Bella here again with another video. Uh, <laughs> this one is gonna be really fun because I'm gonna show you how to build your own PC. MSI Cooler Master HyperX and has been kind enough to send me components to show you how easy it is to build your own PC. Building your own PC can save you a lot of money and it gives you the opportunity to customize it exactly the way you want it. Uh, all the specs to the PCs that I'm gonna build today will be linked down below. When I'm done with all of this, this PC is gonna replace my old one. And for you who don't know what I'm doing and what this PC is gonna be for, uh, I mainly stream on Twitch and I always use the highest possible settings. And the games I play is... It's a game like CSGO, H1, H1Z1, Overwatch, League of Legends, Assassin's Creed, Ghost Recon, For Honor a lot of different kind of games. Before we start with the, all the building stuff, I'm gonna give you some tips. Don't ever be in a hurry. Take your time with both the building part and reading the manuals. It's very, very important to never be in a rush and make sure that you have a lot of space <laughs> because the screws and the manuals and everything is gonna be everywhere. So make sure that you have everything, that you know where everything is and that you have like control over every component and the cables and the screws and everything, blah, blah, blah. Hola, amigos. Como estas? Me llamo Belswag. Si se uh, unboxing building. Uh... So before we start, you should... Tell everybody who you are. Hello. For the third time. My name but is Philip. First time for them. Yeah. But not for me. No. My name is Philip. I have a YouTube channel. It's pretty shit. <laughs> okay. I think we should just start. Yeah. With showing showing the stuff. Mm -hmm. Intel is behind the CPU. There we go. There we go. Cooler Master, who sent me the the motherboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking so <laughs> um, the, the power supply. We also got the CPU cooler. Monster Liquid 120. And they sent me <sighs> the PC case. Yeah. Monster case profile. With free form. And then we have HyperX who sent me the SSD 480. Oh, God damn it! They also Anyways. gave me <laughs> like, <laughs> the 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 RAM. Uh, so 16 gigabyte of uh, RAM from HyperX, and we also got the the motherboard from MSI. And as you've seen, in, maybe as you've seen, some of you've seen in another video, I unboxed this graphics card. So this is the. The 1070 that we're gonna put inside. Yes. Okay. Oh. Big box. And you know if <laughs> big box. <laughs> big box. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my god! Is it a window? Yes. So what I like to do. Blah 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 blah. Have you built a PC before? I. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have. Yes. Perfect. Yes. So, <laughs> I prefer not to build in the, in the PC case right away, so we're gonna put this away. And a lot of people like to have what's it called in English, anti-static bracelet, but I don't because I've never used one, and I probably won't use one. You can just touch something metal before. Yes, exactly. So we open pretty much every box. Okay, so. First of all, I always start with putting in the, the RAM on the motherboard. And you put pull this out. Chunk, chunk. And put it in. Click. Chuk, chuk. So the RAM is on point. The motherboard is kind of like the heart in the PC. Everything is somehow connected to the motherboard. Everything from the CPU to the hard drive to 
the GPU, the fans, everything in the PC is somehow connected to the motherboard. Now I think we should put the CPU on point. And this is tricky because I got the nails. You should not do this with claws, so. And then put it back. Da, 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 da. There we go. Well, this is where the CPU is going. You see the thing here? Looks different on different motherboards, but uh, looks like this on this one. I'm gonna match this one. Or you can just think that you should be able to read the text. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> so you just put it down. The CPU, uh, also translated to central processing unit, is... I guess you can say it's the brain of, of the computer. Perfect! So now you carefully put, pull this down. And this is gonna sound like the motherboard is breaking, but it's not. This is normal. But I'm weak. I think this one is gonna... I keep this on for now. Okay, so this is the most important part. I need to read. So this is for the liquid cooling, and this is different for every cooler there is. So here we have the, uh, what's it called? The, the power supply. So you get like a bag with all the cables that goes into the motherboard. And then we have the power supply, also known as the PCU, and that sends out, sends out the power to the motherboard. Uh, and then the motherboard sends it out to every other component. I don't know what this is called, but this is gonna go right here. There we go. And this is different for every motherboard, so you gotta check every hole so they match down here. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and this one has here, 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 there, 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 and there. So we just put all the uh, uh, thingies in here. I don't know what they are called, but um, they are in. Okay, so I just took this one off here. I'm gonna move it to here because the, the liquid cooling is gonna be here. And now we're gonna put, put in the liquid cooler. To make it easier, I'm gonna plug in this one right away. Uh, and it's just a normal fan. So now this one is in. And I hate when it's cables everywhere, so I'm gonna hide this. Before we put this part, this giant thing, on the CPU, I'm gonna put the, the fan and stuff first because it's so big. And then we have the liquid cooler. This is what keeps the CPU cool because if you don't have a CPU cooler or liquid cooler, it's gonna overheat and then the computer is gonna shut down. So what did we just do? Uh, we put every cable in place in the PCU and pull them on the back side of, of the PC case and then to the front so we don't have every cable in the actual cable management. Yes, exactly. Because it's important for the airflow in the computer. So you don't want anything in the way for all of this. What do I want to do now? So we have the RAM, we have the fan on, we want to put this one on the CPU. Before that we need the thermal paste. You can never, what do you say, ignore this 
or skip this you need it or your PC is gonna overheat and everyone does this different how do you do it I don't know just put it like on my dad I'm I'm pretty sure that he does way too much but I just do in the center I'm pretty sure this was a bit too much Oop. don't forget please take it off warning and then you want to put it right up and down <laughs> up, and, <laughs> up down. and down okay dokey so <laughs> the cooler is finally on 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 point the cpu fan goes in where it says a CPU fan, UCPC. And since it's two, and this one is connected to the fan four spot or one spot or two spot or whatever your case or motherboard. Don't film me now. <laughs> when, when I call it. In this case, it's, what does it say? System fan one. So that one goes in here. And then we have the, the pump. This is called pump. Sounds like Swedish. The fans are gonna be down. So you see the cool MSI logo. And I like to put it on the second. So it's not too close up here. And that means we're gonna take away those two. Then we have the video card or graphics card, also known as a GPU. The GPU is what gives you the picture on the monitor. Uh, some motherboards have the graphics card built in, uh, but they are usually not uh, very good. The better GPU you have, uh, the, the higher settings you can have on the games while playing, uh, for example. So this is important and I always forget it. You need to take this out. No, you don't. No, do it's already out. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, Clicked. in. Okay, so let's plug in every cable from the PCU into the motherboard. And then you have the hard drive and that's pretty much the memory, I guess you can say. It's where you keep everything, where you save down. When you save a picture, when you save a video, when you download a game, everything that you download and save is being put on the hard drive. Look, what a savage. <laughs> but <it's>... <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> okay. okay, so you wanna uh, screw it so it's stuck in this. <laughs> okay, so the... Um, the yes, savage. The <laughs> savage is on point. <laughs> so you gently you put it in nice. Click. Yes. Okay. Woohoo! It's in. <laughs> Promotion. <laughs> Everything is in, I think. You think? Mm -hmm. He thinks. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> so we can go through it, I guess. Yeah, sure. Before we start, so we got the SSD is plugged in, the graphics card, the cooler, CPU cooler, and under it the the CPU, um, the RAM and the PCU, the power supply. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now there's something that comes wrong. Fan, I hate this. For you can start on the screen, or? Oh, yeah. Yep, something is wrong, but I will start on this. Oh, I know what. If I let you know, if I let you in, you can't pull me down, 
No, don't hold me down, no The stars came to show To lead you the way If you want to know You have to forgive me You take me right guys enjoyed this video and if you're thinking of uh, building your own PC then I hope it helped you realizing that it's not as hard as it might seem and if I can do it I can assure you that you can do it too and I also want to give a big thank you to MSI HyperX Cooler Moss for sending me these components so I was able to do this video for you and show you guys I hope you guys take care and if you liked the video please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! Bye!